All right, so just so everybody knows that this, uh, this uh, class will be recorded and it will be uploaded um, to YouTube uh, right after the class. So if there's anybody that's interested in, you know, in hearing about this, or if there are those um, that's on this Zoom that, you know, maybe you just had to excuse yourself, maybe the kids or whatever, um, and you want to get back to it, just you could just go to YouTube. I, I usually upload them pretty, pretty quickly after the class, but we, you know, within 15 to 30 minutes, um, you just go to YouTube, type in my name, Barbara Bro. Um, B-R-E-A-U-D, and you can find not only this class, but also many classes that I've taught since, um, well, we've been, we've been actually having a Zoom class probably, oh, since sometime uh, in the spring, but I started actually taking over and recording them and uploading them back in July. Um, so you'll find all the, all the classes that we've had every Saturday. I think I might've missed maybe one or two um, you know, due to, I don't know what, but <laughs> whatever it was due to, but pretty much every Saturday, um, there's a Zoom class and we have different topics. Every Saturday, different topic. And um, so, and, and if there's anything that anybody, you know, feels uh, the need to hear more about, um, let me know. Let me know as early in the week as possible. So that way, as I'm doing, you know, my, um, you know, my research and my, you know, putting together the PowerPoint that I can make sure that it's included in my presentation. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so once again, the topic of, to, of today's class is the medicine cabinet makeover. Um, I thought this was actually, it's kind of interesting. And I hope that everybody here that they learn, you know, something um, you know, it, it's the nature of this Zoom is it's going to go maybe a little faster than maybe what you, you know, might like. So that's why, you know, once again, just make sure you, you know, go over the, um, the class that will be uploaded on, uh, on, on YouTube. So here we go. This might be our mothers. This might be our grandmothers. Uh, this might be us. Uh, that, you know, maybe you're, you're sitting in front of a mountain of medications, that you're on so many prescription pills that you need to carry them around in a suitcase. I know people like this. I know people that I love very much like this. And I don't, I don't want to be in this position. I don't want to wake up one day and having to take so many pills. Um, there was somebody actually very close to me, and she was going through all of the pills that she had to take. She was you know, she was with me first, you know, uh, staying with me. This was years and years ago up in, up in Alaska. And uh, she, she was pulling out all her medications that morning that she had to take. And she was telling me what they were all for. And she was like, this one is for my high blood pressure. This one is for my arthritis. This one is for my heart condition. This one is for my diabetes. This one is for, and there was all these pills. And then she came to the last one and she's kind of like a jokester, you know. She, she comes to the last one and she says, and this one is to remind me or to help to remind me to take all of these pills. In other words, it was something obviously, you know, for her, you know, neurological system. Um, I, I mean, it was, it was kind of comical, but, you know, now, you know, fast forward, you know, some, you know, 20 or so years later, thinking about all those pills that she was taking, somebody that I love very, very much. And... I don't ever want to find myself in that position to where I have all of these medications that are causing all of these side effects, okay? They might be actually helping with the initial condition or the initial reason why. And, and I, you know, I, for one, I would never say, you know, don't listen to your doctor, right? Because, I mean, if, hey, if, if, if I've got you know, maybe an ear infection or strep throat or something, I'm going to take the antibiotics, right? Because I understand that the complications of not taking care of a bacterial infection, you know, can be very severe. Can It can actually cause other issues, maybe heart issues and respiratory issues. So I do, you know, so understand and so agree um, at different times for the need for medication. And so 
right from the start, I want to just say that I am not, you know, anti uh, prescription, anti doctor, anti vax. I'm not, I'm not that person. But what I am is I'm just, I'm just somebody who just wants to be informed, right? And I very much believe that we can actually, uh, um, uh, we can prevent issues, we can prevent disease uh, uh, processes from going on, we can prevent illness with just some very simple changes in, in, our, in our daily lives, in our choices, whether it be the things that we eat, um, the, the, the stress levels, all kinds of things. So uh, like I say, whereas I'm, I'm very much, um, you know, I, I don't want to take uh, medication. I do understand that there are going to be times where you absolutely must take medication. Okay. So understand that I'm not, you know, telling everybody, you know, throw your, you know, your medications in the trash. I'm not telling you to do that at all. But one thing that I do want to talk about is the, is the idea of the possible side effects. Okay. Now, when, whenever you get a, a, a prescription from the doctor or from the pharmacy, you pick it up. And one of the things that I want you to take note of is that long list of possible side effects. Okay. Does it always happen? No. Sometimes we actually have side effects that we don't even know is a side effect. Okay. Now what I'm talking about are long-term effects. Okay. It could be damage to our liver because remember every drug that, that enters into our body must be processed by the liver. Okay. And so it can cause a lot of problems on, on the other side of things. Okay. So in other words, let's say you're taking, let's say you're taking a medication for, um, let's say you've got high cholesterol. And so you're taking a, a cholesterol uh, drug and let's say that cholesterol drug is causing problems um, in other ways, whether it be in your GI system um, it could be in your cardiovascular system, and it's causing maybe it's causing um, you know heart palpitations or things, which are, which we know uh, could be very um, very dangerous if if left un, unchecked. So maybe that particular medication is causing other problems. Now, the the high cholesterol, which actually could be regulated and taken care of in more ways than just taking uh, prescription drugs, it could be regulated in your diet. And we're going to talk about other ways that we can regulate it. So sometimes we're, it's so easy and we're so quick to just take the drug. Why? Because we don't want to make the sacrifices, whether it be the, you know, the, the dietary sacrifices or just the sacrifices of just, you know, just checking into things, you know, how, how could, I, how could I maybe naturally take care of this particular condition uh, that that's, you know, going on within my body right now. So like I say, so many different pills for so many different things that yes, they, they very well could work, but they also cause other problems. Personally, I think I would rather walk around with high cholesterol than walk around dizzy all day long. I mean, that's no way to live, right? I would rather, I would rather just deal with the high cholesterol, right? Quality of life. Um, issue, but like I say, I'm, you know, everybody's different. So um, I want to talk about drugs versus oils. Okay. And there are some big differences. Okay. Not to mention uh, just the simple fact that these essential oils that we're going to talk about are good for a myriad of things. In other words, you can get an essential oil that might help with your hypertension, but it's also going to help with your high cholesterol. It's also going to help with your, uh, maybe your neurological symptoms. And it also smells great, right? So, you know, what, the, so my whole point is, is that whereas you can go, you can take one, one prescription drug uh, for one specific thing, but then you could take an oil that not only addresses that problem, but it also addresses other problems as well. Okay. And that's, that's one of the things that I really love about the oils is that you can have a handful of oils that can actually help with so many situations. Okay. So if, let's just say you have 10 oils. So we're going to talk about 10 particular oils today. Let's just say you have 10 oils. 
those 10 oils used in combinations with themselves or alone could help with, let's say, 10 times five conditions. So we've got about 50 conditions at least that could be helped with, with these oils. So anyway, we'll get into that a little bit more um, in the class, but I just want to show the, the difference between the, uh, the drugs versus the essential oils, okay? So with the drugs, oftentimes you have to increase your dosage, okay? In other words, you have to take more to take care of your, your problems. With essential oils, on the other hand, a little goes a long way, okay? And that's where we come into some of the science of the oils and the simple fact that oils go where, where drugs cannot go. Okay, we'll talk about the blood-brain barrier. We can talk about passing through the, the lipid membrane of each and every cell where, um, you know, it's so, so it's very, very important that we kind of understand some of the science behind the oils, although today we're not going to get into that science, but I just want everybody to understand that literally pennies per dose is what you're paying for when you're, when you're taking essential oils. Okay. So if you compare them to the cost of your pharmaceuticals, you're going to see that per dose, these essential oils are much cheaper. Now with the drugs, the synthetics, why? Because a lot of drugs, not all, a lot of drugs are synthetically created. Okay. They can build up, they can toxify your fat cells, they can toxify your blood cells, they can toxify your liver as well as other organs. With the essential oils, that's not so. Because essential oils literally work in harmony and in synergy with our body's systems. All right. And that's this really that's a that's a beautiful topic um, and something that I so like to talk about, but we just don't don't have time in, in our class today. So um, with with the drugs, again, we talked about the potential harmful side effects. Um, with the essential oils, all you have to look forward to are the positive side effects. I would much rather look forward to that than to pop a prescription and just wait to see what happens, you know. Um, uh, you, the drugs can interfere with the natural body sin, uh, systems, and that happens all the time, okay? Especially when, when you're talking about maybe some of those, uh, those pain pills, they are interfere with a lot of things. Um, and, and like I say, that's a whole nother class, a whole nother topic. Um, and, you know, something that I, I'm very, you know, passionate about that, you know, the, the interference of some of the, the cell receptors and, and the things uh, like that. And, and that's, you know, God put us together um, very, very, uh, uh, the way that our body works together in, in harmony. Um, and so, you know, when you introduce something that's, uh, that's, you know, synthetic, something that's not natural, oftentimes it interferes with that harmony, um, you know, kind of think about, think about like an orchestra and how that every, every instrument is, is, is in sync, is in tune. And it takes, it, it often takes a lot of time to actually, um, one second here, let me mute. We're having a little bit of background noise here. Um, and so, like I was saying, sometimes, you know, with that symphony, you know, we, everybody is, is, in, is in tune, but if you just have one instrument that's out of tune, it, it takes away from the, from the beauty of the sound of that, of that symphony, of that orchestra. So um, that's essential oils. It keeps everything in balance. Um, whereas oftentimes those drugs do not. Um, and antibiotics, and this is what I was talking about with the cell membrane. It's a it's a lipid. What it is, it's a it's a double it's a double lipid. It's a phospholipid membrane, and where the essential oils literally pass right through. Why? Because the essential oils are also lipid. Um, antibiotics cannot penetrate the cell membrane. That's why antibiotics does nothing for viruses. Why? because viruses are usually inside of our cells. Now, that does not mean that they go outside of our cells and they very well do. They, they, they burst through and they usually uh, destroy that cell that they're doing all their dirty work inside. And then all of those virus um, uh, agents are going now into other cells and they're infecting those cells as well. 
which is a reason, like I say, that antibiotics does nothing for viruses, very little. Sometimes you can take an antibiotic and it'll, it'll minimize some of the, sim, you know, some of the, the symptoms that you're feeling. Um, and other times, you know, they, they just prescribe antibiotics anyway. Um, a lot of times just, you know, because people want the antibiotics if, if they feel like they're, you know, it's doing something. Um, I never did like that, you know, doctors that just prescribe just to prescribe. Um, what I believe is the most important thing is to strengthen your immune system because God gave us a system literally to kill those invaders that come in. Um, and we're, we're, being, we're being bombarded with invaders, whether it's bacterial, whether it's viral, whether it's fungal. Uh, yeast, there's so many things that come in that are seeking to invade and take over and use our body as a host. Um, and our body is fighting many, many wars and many battles, and we don't even know it. You know, it's usually not until we get a fever that we, you know, we understand, okay, something is going on, right? But oftentimes that's happening behind the scenes and we don't even know it. So anyway, the beautiful part about the, um, uh, the essential oils is that not only do they penetrate the cell membrane, they also penetrate the blood brain barrier. And that is big. That is very big. Alrighty, so back to our medicine cabinet makeover. Anybody's medicine cabinet look like the top? The before screen with the Pepto-Bismol and the lactate and the Midol and all of this stuff in between. And look at down below the after. It's, it's actually just beautiful to, to look at. You know, especially if you're like me, I'm, I got this, this thing about chaos and, you know, disorder. I, I, I like the bottom screen much better. It's much more orderly. And each one of these oils that you see can, like I was saying, can literally can be used for multitude of issues that go on within our body. So here's just one of a couple of slides that I'm going to talk about. Um, if you want to take some screenshots of some of these things, um, very, very uh, important and good information. So if you have headaches, what do we usually go for? We take Tylenol, we take ibuprofen. Um, I know uh, back in the day, um, before I started on the lifelong vitality with, uh, from doTERRA and changing my diet as well, um, I was a big time sufferer of headaches. I would get migraines that put me to bed all day long. I would usually get them at the beginning of the day and they would be with me all day long. I would not be able to get out of bed. And the only reason that I could or would get out of bed would be to go to the bathroom, to get sick, to go right back to bed. And I mean, they were terrible, absolutely terrible. And so essential oils along with lifelong vitality are the only thing that, that interceded um, that, you know, I, I cannot tell you the last time I've ever had a headache or a migraine. And my, mine were mostly migraines, but I would also just get just a regular, you know, tension headache or whatever as well. Um, most of them were migraines and it was terrible. Literally, I would lose two days out of my life, one day with the migraine, the next day with what I call the migraine hangover. And if, if, there, if there was any, any reason that, that I would, you know, continue with essential oils, it would be for migraines, because that's pretty much the only real health issue, you know. I've got other, you know, things, but that was probably most, um, was the, you know, was the migraines. And so that's my reason one of my reasons for, you know, continuing, on, you know, the good supplementation that, that doTERRA has. And we're going to talk about lifelong vitality in just a minute. But then we also have stomach discomfort. A lot of people, that's probably, as a matter of fact, that is the number one reason why people visit the ER is for some type of a GI issue. Okay. Um, I, I invite you to try Digest Zen because it works very good. And after, um, after, the, um, after my presentation, if anybody who uses Digest Zen would like to say a few words about it, 
um, I would like to invite you to um, to go ahead and just speak a little bit on this is this is probably one of the best selling oils of doTERRA uh, for obvious reasons, because who likes to walk around with a stomach ache, right, or gas or bloating or diarrhea or constipation, right? Here you have one oil that can literally relieve so many different symptoms. Okay, warts. Anybody's ever dealt with a wart, right? Um, how about depression? How about an ear infection? Those of you mothers that have kids, I know I was always at the doctor and that was the biggest reason, especially being up in Alaska. There were ear infections ruled the day up there. Uh, what about burns or fevers, insect bites, sore muscles, cold, flu, inflammation, teething pain or tooth pain? Here are some oils that you could put into your medicine cabinet that you could reach for at moment's notice when you have these different or issues. I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody again. All righty, let's go. If my computer will allow me to advance my screen, All right, so make over your medicine cabinet. Here are 10 oils that I want everybody that's listening to this Zoom on this call, I want everybody to have these oils in your medicine cabinet. Frankincense, lavender, tea tree, lemon, peppermint, oregano, digestin, on guard, easy air, which I am very sorry, this is an old slide, it should be called breathe and deep blue. These are the 10 foundation oils that I talk about so much in, in my classes. And look at, look at what, they, what the benefits that they give to you. All right, frankincense for head tension, migraines, headaches, uh, good for tissue repair. In other words, any, any skin issue. Lavender, good for stress or sleep. Again, tissue repair, so any kind of skin issue hormone balance, seasonal threats, such as uh, if you have allergies, we're gonna talk a little bit about that, coughs. Um, uh, tea tree, good for sores, blemishes, first aid for skin, gums, teething. Lemon is good for energy, sore throat, cleansing. Peppermint, good for itching, nerve support, aches and tension, and digestion, okay? As well as digestin. So peppermint and digestin both are very, very good for any kind of digestive issues. Oregano is an intensive immune support. In other words, if you want to give yourself the, probably one of the most powerful support immune essential oils, oregano, rubbing it on your feet every single night, okay? Uh, on guard, again, same thing. Very, very good for immune support, germ protection, disinfectant. Not to mention the fact that, boy, does it smell wonderful. They actually have on guard toothpaste and mouthwash and laundry soap and clean, cleaner. I use all of that. Um, and then again, the breathe, which here it's called easy air. And I'm sorry, it should not be called. It should be called breathe because they changed their name. Very good for any kind of sinus congestion, coughing. Um, lung support. If you've got anything going on respiratory wise, breathe is is definitely your uh, your potion. They they just came out with a new one and it's called Air X. And whereas breathe cannot be taken internally, Air X can be taken internally, which is one of the reasons that I really like that Air X because it's got all of the benefits of breathe, but you can also take it internally. And here's one thing that I love about that Air X. And you can get it on sale this, this month as well. Air X, um, uh, it's, got, it's got what's called Litsia. And excuse me, if you have not smelled Litsia, you need to smell it. It smells absolutely wonderful. I use Litsia all the time. And I love Air X. I have it diffusing downstairs right now. And I absolutely love the smell um, because I like a lot of citrus and, and that Litsy is a very strong citrus smell. And then of course there's Deep Blue, which is for any kind of sore, achy muscles, um, growing pains, all of those things. Um, so the, uh, the essential oils, 
versus the over-the-counter drugs. Here are alternates that you can use instead of peppermint and Tums. Try, uh, I'm sorry, instead of Pepto-Bismol and Tums, try peppermint. Here's, uh, here's your um, either or for your lavender. Digest and take a snapshot of, of this slide because um, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through all of these only because of um, the sake of time. Look at all of these alternates. Look at, look at oregano. Instead of NyQuil, instead of DayQuil, try oregano. Now, who would have thought that you could have ever found an alternate to NyQuil and DayQuil? I, I tell you what, back in the day, I literally made sure I had NyQuil and DayQuil in my medicine cabinet for my kids who were, you know, maybe they would get sick, uh, you know, in the wintertime, and especially when you have a lot of kids, um, one, just one gets sick and guess what? They all get sick, right? We're a very close family and, you know, we shared everything, right? Including our viruses. So anyway, I'm kind of giving you guys all a chance to go ahead and take a snapshot of this um, because this is probably one of my favorite slides um, of the day. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to go through 10, 10 oils. Now, doTERRA's got a lot of oils. We're gonna deal with 10 of them right now. These are the 10 oils. And I'm gonna repeat this. These are the 10 oils that I want everybody to have in their medicine cabinet. Very, very important to have these. And make sure that you're using these oils. In other words, don't just buy them and let them sit. Make sure you're using them. The best way to make sure that you're using these oils is to continue coming to these classes because every week we're talking about different ways where you can use these oils, okay? And so you might not know, like I had no idea. I think Zena was the one that brought it to my attention. I love the smell of cypress, but she's the one that told me, hey, it's not just for good smelling, you know? It's good for varicose veins. So I'm like, what? Are you serious, right? And so if, if we, we, we do as we know, right? We do as we know. So now my, my Cypress, it's, it's actually on that shelf right back there. Matter of fact, I can point to it. It's right there. Why? Because I use it every single, well, I guess I shouldn't say every single day, but I use it often, okay? The Helichrysum is also on that shelf. I also have a huge box in the corner over there that's got three drawers filled with oils, but this, this shelf right here, I, you know, I keep some of them. Helichrysum, Cypress, those are, a matter of fact, I use Helichrysum several times throughout the day. Never used to use it before until I learned what good benefits it is for my skin and for my body. So that's what I want to do is I want to give some education. Frankincense is an oil that should be used daily. I take it internally, I use it externally, and I diffuse it. I've got a diffuser behind me right now. I do everything with frankincense, which by the way, for those of you who are new and don't, don't know these things, um, doTERRA's oils, um, most of them anyway, there, there are some oils that should not be used internally. Most of the oils should be used internally. And uh, many oil companies, and, and you'll find all you have to do is just, you know, just browse your, your, your supermarket and, you know, uh, go to the, the natural section and you're going to see a whole bunch of essential oils. Not doTERRA, by the way, but you're going to see a whole bunch of essential oils. You turn the, that bottle of oil around and it will clearly tell you not for internal use. Okay. Now, if you look here on this screen, it says uh, the, those little dots. A, T, I, and N. A means that it's good for aromatic use. In other words, you can put it in a diffuser. Or you could breathe it. T means that it's good to put on your skin. I means you can take it internally, whether it's in water, whether you put it in your food, a smoothie, a, a, a veggie cap. It's not only could it be used internally, but it should be used internally. And that's, that's one of the things that I love about the oils is you get the benefit from without and within. However, the fastest way 
to introduce any oil into your body is going to be aromatically. Why? Because when you breathe in your oils, and if anybody understands the processes that, that go on in your lungs with the alveoli and the, the, uh, uh, the capillary system that one runs right near to the alveoli and then the diffusion that happens, it is immediate. When you breathe in an oil, it is an immediate introduction into your body. Uh, sublingual. Sublingual, if you were to take frankincense eternally, internally, I should say, under your tongue, that is a sublingual approach to your body. It immediately goes into the bloodstream and within minutes has served every single cell in your body, every one of them. If you know anything about the circulatory system and the capillary system and all, like, like I was just saying about the diffusion and high pressure, low pressure and all of that, it's a fascinating topic, but you can have this oil servicing every cell in your body within minutes. That to me is pretty amazing. And this oil is not called king of the oils for no reason. And I, I, if you go onto my YouTube, I actually have a, an entire Zoom that we did just on frankincense being called the king of the oils. So frankincense, look at the benefits of this oil, right? No wonder it's called king of the oils. Alzheimer's, you know anybody who has it? You know anybody who doesn't want to have it? I don't want to get it. A drop on the crown of your head, sublingual, uh, aromatic, take it internally, okay? Good for arthritis, good for asthma, for balance, cancer. They're doing so many studies on this oil at Johns Hopkins as well as other uh, healthcare centers throughout the country. Frankincense is truly an amazing oil. I, there would not be a day that goes by that, I, that this oil is not in my body, on my body, and around my body. It is very important. Inflammation, mental fatigue, pneumonia, tumors, ulcers, warts, wrinkles. Take a snapshot if you would like. Uh, so again, like I was saying, frankincense topically. Who, who wants to get old? I know I don't. I'm 54. And in 20 years, I want to still be 54, right? <laughs> As a matter of fact, what I would really like to be is like maybe 30 again, you know, or even 40. I'll take 40. Um, but anyway, no, I'm 54. And I, I don't, I mean, I, who on this call is not trying to slow the signs of aging? All right. You put stuff in on your hair. You put stuff on your face. You put stuff in your body, right? We're all trying to take care of our body. We're all trying to stay as young as we possibly can look, as young as we possibly can feel, right? I wanna, the same way that I can run, uh, run out to my, to my mailbox and run back and I'm not in pain or out of breath or all of that. Now, I wanna be able to do that 10 years from now and 20 years from now. I wanna still be able to run around with my grandkids, right? So I very much believe that it's what I'm doing now that's going to affect how I am in 10 years down the road, right? So like I was saying, this is just a very, very important oil and I cannot state that enough, okay? Um, extremely good uh, for uh, minor cuts, sores. It's very, very good for the skin. I've been actually putting it around my eyes um, and I've, I've got some kind of little, uh, it's like, a, like an irritation around my eyes and can't, I haven't really pinpointed what, what it was, but I've been using frankincense. Of course, I'm using it diluted. Whenever you put something around your eyes, um, make sure you dilute it. Um, I, I actually, I've, I've begun diluting these oils pretty much when I put them anywhere on my body. I don't know, I think my skin is maybe a little more sensitive than it used to be um, back in the day. So anyway, that's, that's just what I'm doing. Um, putting it on, on the bottom of your feet um, uh, using it with lavender and peppermint for headaches. Now that's a real good idea, but when in doubt, whenever you're in doubt, try frankincense, all right? Here's a wellness warrior, uh, two drops of, of, of frankincense, two drops of lemon, two drops of uh, on guard, 
All right, this is a great diffuser blend. I want to talk about lavender. Now, lavender is literally, um, a lot of people call it the Swiss army knife of, of essential oils. A lot of people call it uh, the oil of all things calming, right? Um, it calms down everything, whether it's uh, eczema, uh, psoriasis, uh, allergies, burns, cuts, it calms things down. As well, if you know, if you can't sleep, it calm, helps to calm your mind down as well. So lavender, good for allergies, blisters, colds, cuts, I'm sorry, cuts and burns, diaper rash, herpes, okay, insomnia, postpartum depression, menopause, mastitis, ticks, vertigo, rashes, and teeth grinding. I, I think lavender is probably one of the most beautiful oils. Um, and uh, it's just, it's, it, it, it calms you down just actually looking at, you know, the, the, the pictures of lavender growing in the fields. Um, take, a, take a snapshot of this if you, if you would like. Here are some other things uh, that lavender is good for. Um, Parkinson's disease, poison ivy, postpartum depression, scarring, seizures, uh, sleep, stretch marks. Look at all of the one bottle of oil you tell me that you could ever find that with your over-the-counter medications or prescription medications. Never could you find that. But here we have one bottle of oil that can do all of these things. Chicken pox, diaper rash, hair loss, insect repellent. I just, I just think that, that lavender is beautiful. But now, if you couple lavender with lemon and peppermint, what do you have? It's a trivia question of the day. Lemon, lavender, and peppermint. What does that create? That creates your allergy blend. Two drops of lavender, two drops of lemon, two drops of peppermint. Put it in a little glass of water. Put it in your mouth. Swish it around because it does great things for your oral health and swallow. There is your seasonal allergy. Now, if you have a child who suffers with allergies, one drop of each of these in a little bit of local honey is always best because local honey, they say, actually helps you with whatever the allergies that they're dealing with in, you know, in that particular um, area. And they won't, they won't even know that these, that these are in here because, you know, honey's got a very strong taste to it. Um, but look at this. I mean, the lavender for the immune system, for nasal and sinus congestion, the lemon for the immune system, full of antioxidants, reduces the phlegm, right? Peppermint for headaches, inflammation, the congestion, anything respiratory. Not only is peppermint good for respiratory, peppermint is good for, uh, for, for, uh, for your GI system as well. Also good for your neurological system as well. Now, if you are lazy like I am, this is definitely something that you would like. This triese literally has peppermint, lavender, and lemon all in it in a little soft gel that you can take and you don't have to worry about doing any mixing or anything like that. This is, now within the next couple months, this is going to be flying off the shelves at doTERRA. Okay, so if you know somebody who has got allergies, you might want to go ahead and order some of this early because once uh, uh, um, allergy season gets into full swing, doTERRA cannot keep these, the, the, this product uh, you know, in stock because it's literally flying off the shelves. If you want to make sure you get it, you might want to buy a bottle or two right now. And here is a diffuser blend for allergies, or actually three diffuser blends for allergies. Take a snapshot of this. Um, it just, it just beautiful. I just, I just love these bright, uh, beautiful, uh, slides, but these diffusers. Now what I would do only because I like my diffuser a little stronger, I would actually double this instead of one drop of tea tree, one drop of lemon drum, one drop of lavender. I would put two of each because I, I like to be able to smell it a little bit more. All righty. Next oil I want to talk about is Melaleuca, which is called tea tree now. But they always had it marketed as Melaleuca, and it was always marketed as something that you could take internally. Now they changed it to tea tree, and they had to take off that internal use label. Why did they have to do that? 
To confuse us? No. To be in compliance? Yes. Because there's a lot of, uh, 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 I'm sorry, there's a lot of varieties of tea tree that are toxic um, when taken too much internally. But the tea tree that, um, that we know and love is the same that we know and love as long as it's taken within very small amounts um, can be taken internally. That's why I say, um, you know, it, you just have to be very, very careful with it. Um, and when in doubt, just go with what the label says. Ten ways to use tea tree. Very good for the skin. You can uh, clean with it. Very, very good for your fingernails, for your toenails, especially if, if you know anybody that deals with the fungus. Um, I know a lot of older folks that deal with that. Um, toenail fungus. Um, putting this on each and every day, several times a day if it's really bad for fungus, very, very good. Oregano is also good for that too. Um, but it's very good to, to diffuse throughout the day. Why? Because it purifies the air. Okay. Very good for a sinus steamer. You put tea tree, eucalyptus, lemon, um, oregano, maybe even a couple drops of On Guard. Close your eyes, make sure you close your eyes. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> close your eyes and breathe in a hot steaming cup of water and you put these oils in there and then just breathe it in and it will just clear out all of the sinus congestion. This oil is very good for shampoo. You put it in your shampoo and you, um, it's very, very good for your hair. You could put it behind your ears, okay? Behind the, the uh, um, uh, this part of your, your earlobe, you put it behind there, very, very good for ear infections. So anyway, take some snapshots of all of this. I'm gonna have to get going because we are running out of time. Um, I, I just cannot say enough about tea tree. And, you know, as, as I, you know, I, as I was looking at these, um, you know, at the tea tree, I just, uh, you know, I'm just in love with this oil. I mean, I use this oil all the time but look at all of the things that this is good for. What can you replace in your medicine cabinet with one bottle of tea tree? You could literally replace 10 things in your medicine cabinet with one bottle. So it's no wonder that that picture that I showed at the very beginning, whereas it's just a mirage, and not a mirage, but a, <clears throat> a hodgepodge of, you know, of bottles and tubes and, you know, all these things of, you know, of what we're taking with these beautiful essential oils. One bottle can do so many things. Lemon, <clears throat> excuse me, absolutely beautiful oil. Love it, love the way it smells, love the way it tastes, love what it does. Um, it, it's very good for neutralizing odors. And remember, anything that's, that's citrusy will elevate the mood. Anything that's citrusy will, will invigorate and enliven, okay? It's very, very good for cleansing. I actually use lemon, like if I, you know, how many times you go to the store and, and they put on a, maybe a, a sticker, a, you know, price tag, and you can't get that silly thing off, right? And then when you do get it off, there's all kinds of residue. Put one drop of lemon on it and just rub it off and it comes right off. Excuse me, not only that, is you smelling some beautiful smells, right? Very good actually for, um, for cleaning your, uh, your, your produce, you know, when you come back from the grocery store. The kitchen counters, um, it's just an unbelievably great oil. Um, this oil should be put in your uh, water when you're drinking, it helps to detox your system. So it's a, it's a very versatile oil. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a wonderful oil. And I want everybody to make sure you have this oil in your medicine cabinet. It is very cheap, very cheap. How much is this oil? Who knows out there? I don't even know how much it is, like what, 10, 12 bucks? It's a very cheap oil. This bottle of lemon, 15 ml, has 250 drops. When you're figuring from one to three drops is a dose, you do the math. How long will this one bottle of oil last in your medicine cabinet? Okay, so look at all of these things. You know somebody who deals with kidney stones or gallstones, kidney infections, urinary tract infections? This is the oil for you.
okay? For, for 10 to $12, you could put this in somebody's hand that literally can help them with so many different things. Take a snapshot. Varicose veins, stress, lymphatic cleansing, digestion, depression, constipation, concentration, blood pressure. My goodness. So anyway, I know I've got a lot of slides, but it's just, you know, sometimes when, when I get into it, it's like, you know, wow, that, you know, I just, I just love, you know, beautiful slides. And so, um, and I love to create PowerPoints. So sometimes I, I go a little overboard. Um, peppermint. Peppermint is a wonderful, wonderful uh, oil. Um, you can get peppermint in so many different forms with doTERRA. And we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But um, look at the benefits. Alertness, fever, constipation. Once again, lemon was good for constipation and so is peppermint. So this is why I say these oils work in synergy with one another. One oil is doing its job, another oil is doing its job, and they're all working together. So if maybe, maybe if lemon doesn't work for you for constipation, well, maybe peppermint will. So 10 oils can literally touch all of these uh, different processes that, that we've got um, that are <laughs> not functioning properly. <laughs> so anyway, headaches, Tennis elbow, look at that. Who out there is a tennis? We got any tennis players out there? Um, I, I know we've got a lot of mothers out there that get, uh, you know, maybe baby elbow, you know, or baby shoulder. I know I've had lots of problems with my shoulder because I always carry my babies in this arm. Why do I do that? Because I need this arm to do everything else, right? You got a fussy baby and you're holding the baby and you're trying to cook dinner or take care of another baby or another child, I should say. And um, anyway, We've got a lot of mothers who have maybe baby uh, baby shoulder, you know, maybe not tennis elbow, but baby shoulder. Muscle aches, hot flashes, uh, endurance. In other words, this is an oil that will help you to go the distance. Here's an example. Has anybody taken a road trip anytime recently or anytime at all? And maybe you're, you know, four, five, six hours into your drive, right? And your, your eyes are just, you know, you just, you, it's like you're, you're ready to just become part of the road. You just feel like the road is just engraved into your eyeballs, right? And you just feel like you're ready to fall asleep at any moment. This bottle of peppermint should be by your side. And even better if you have a bottle of citrus along with it. You open up that bottle of peppermint and you take some deep breaths. And if you have a, a diffuser going in your car, even better. I have a diffuser in my car and I usually put on guard in there, but peppermint is very, very good. You take some deep breaths of this wonderfully smelling oil and it will perk you up, it will wake you up and it will help you to go the distance. All right, anybody out there have asthma? It's good for the flu. It's good for cooling. As a matter of fact, when, when um, a couple of years back, um, uh, Sharon will remember that. Well, yeah, Sharon, you'll remember this. A couple of years back when we would meet um, in the heat of the summer for, you know, going out and doing personal work, I'd give everybody a, a drop of peppermint and they'd rub it on the back of their neck. Why on the back of your neck? Because that is where a lot of your heat is lost, okay? So if you rub it on the back of your neck, it will instantly, and you, you'll feel the cool. It's like, whoa, you know, anytime the, you know, the wind moves, which sometimes in the hot Georgia summer, it's like, do we have any wind going on here, right? We're always fanning ourselves, right? But anytime the wind moves over that, that peppermint on the back of your neck, it will help to cool you down. So very, very important. Just remember that summertime's coming. Um, migraines, cramps, Charlie horses, and once again, varicose veins. All right, here is an awesome diffuser blend when you are feeling fatigued, when you are taking that long road trip. Like I say, lemon goes very well with peppermint. All right, so primary benefits of peppermint. Take a snapshot, very good for oral health. And this is a, a very beautiful fact that I, I did want to, um, to talk about here. This is a peppermint leaf and if, if you magnify this peppermint leaf, what you'll see is you'll find, and you don't even have to magnify, it's, it doesn't have to be a microscopic, it could just be a macroscopic, 
okay? But it is a magnification nonetheless. But what you see is you see um, white sacks, and that's where the essential oil of the plant is held. This is where the natural aromatic compounds are found, and they are very concentrated. So when you have a bottle of essential oil, peppermint essential oil, it is highly concentrated, okay? 50 to 70 times more powerful than the herb itself. That is pretty unbelievable. One drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to over 20 cups of peppermint tea. One drop. And that's pretty incredible if you ask me. Now, doTERRA is very smart and I'm very glad that they're very smart. They, they uh, make all kinds of different products for you know all different kinds of issues and the way people want to use it. Um, such as the, the peppermint roll-on right there on the left-hand side of the screen, very good for rolling it onto your skin. So like I say, if you know maybe you have an upset, upset tummy, um, we're going to talk about digestin. Digestin is actually you know what a lot of people like even better than peppermint, but some people really like peppermint for upset stomach. You roll that on your tummy, you could take a, a, um, a couple of these uh, peppermint beadlets, um, one to two peppermint beadlets, um, and then the peppermint drops, you can actually take those internally as well. Um, you can even use them to, you know, to make a, you know, a tea if you would like. Um, so here are the peppermint beadlets. Um, I just gave some of these to my daughter. Her, her husband deals with a lot of GI issues. And um, she just took it right out, popped it in her mouth, and was like, oh, okay, this isn't as strong as I thought. I, I think it's strong. It's like a, like a very powerful Altoid. Um, is the way that I describe these beadlets. You can either swallow it whole and it will just, it's, uh, it's just like a, um, uh, um, it's like a, uh, what is it? Uh, like a glycerin um, coating that's around it. Um, but I like, to, I like to actually pop it open in my mouth and it gives a burst of flavor in your mouth. Very good for your teeth and gums too, by the way. So here again, peppermint beadlets, the common uses are antioxidants, motion sickness, upset tummy, it freshens your breath, good for bacterial infections, congestion, cramp, and alertness. Oregano, very, very wonderful oil, and it is not one that really gets the spotlight too often, um, but it is a wonderful oil, and I'm going to kind of go through this a little, a little fast now, um, only because I, I have um, exceeded my time that I like to go. Um, but anyway, oregano is a wonderful, wonderful oil. Good for athlete's foot, calluses, candida, canker sores, inflammation, intestinal parasites, pneumonia, ringworm, viral infection, warts, and whooping cough. Ever had any of those things? I've never tried oregano. I would suggest that oregano is in your medicine cabinet. Digestin, this is the one I was just talking about. So many people love this oil. And like I say, I welcome anybody who wants to share briefly on the benefits that this oil has been for you, but it is wonderful for anything intestinal, anything uh, gastrointestinal, I should say, your stomach as well as your intestines. Um, very good to help, help for digestion. If you ever you know, have bloating, gas, you can actually put rub this on your stomach and it works. You can take it internally and it works. So uh, what is it good for? Bloating gas, heartburn, indigestion, reflux, colic, dry or sore throat. Mornings, <laughs> look at this slide, morning suckness. I meant morning sickness. Heartburn, motion and travel sickness, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, diarrhea, constipation, Crohn's disease, chronic fatigue, cough, and sinus congestion. There are a lot of products that you can actually get with doTERRA and we can talk about those another time. Um, but this is the one that I really like because once again, I am kind of lazy. And so um, I take so many oils that I like to, you know, just take some of them quickly. So this would be the one that I would reach for, but I don't really have GI issues. So I don't really need, this is probably, you know, I mean, one that I'm always going to keep with me, but it's not one that I use regularly, okay? Um, I'm, my major focus is immune support and skin and cardiovascular. Those are the, you know, the, the, my three focuses um, 
in my given day. These are great to take a snapshot of. Um, I wanted to just highlight some of these additional oils such as clary sage, myrrh, rosemary, and cinnamon bark. We already talked about lemon, but I put that on there just because I was having fun creating this. Um, but clary sage, um, look at what it does. It's very, very good for circulation, regulates your hormones, lower your stress levels, relieves symptoms of menopause, not to mention very good for your hair. I put clary sage in my hair when I'm taking a shower. I did it this morning. I put two drop, no, three drops of peppermint and three drops of clary sage, and I mix it in with my shampoo and it smells wonderful and it also helps your hair. It's very, very good for your hair. Um, myrrh, powerful antioxidant. One of the most, uh, 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 the, um, how, how do you say this? Uh, the highest amount of antioxidants. Of course, clove bud has got more than myrrh, but myrrh is a wonderful oil. Um, it's added to beauty products. We actually have a toothpaste that has myrrh in it. It's very, very good for your teeth prevents infections, it's antiparasitic, antifungal, and even anti-cancer. Rosemary, not uh, aside from the fact that it smells absolutely wonderful, rosemary is wonderful for concentration, very good for focus, okay? It increases the heart rate, just helps you to, to go and to, you know, it's, it's very good for, for blood pressure, for brain activity. Um, it's very, very good for stress. Um, and this is an oil that is, is just, it's good for inhalation, but you can also take it internally as well. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is very, very, um, it's, uh, people have asked about um, like diabetes. Um, and this is probably one of the first oils that I would recommend. Um, it's just very, very good for any type of pancreatic uh, issues such as uh, diabetes. It's very good to ward off and to, you know, to fend off those free radicals. These are four more or five more, I'm sorry, um, but there's only two that I want to highlight in this bunch because the others I've already talked about. One is eucalyptus. Um, now, very good for antimicrobial and anti-inflammation. It's very, very good for inflammation. It's an expectorant. It helps to loosen the mucus in the lungs and in the nasal, nasal passages. It's one that you definitely want to use. You can rub it on your chest. You can diffuse it. Very, very good when, you know, when, when you're dealing with, um, you know, any kind of, you know, chest issue, um, you know, if, you're, if you've got a, you know, lower respiratory cold or even an upper respiratory as well. Now, I want to talk just a little bit about rose, not a side or yeah, aside from the fact of how wonderful rose smells, um, this is a very expensive oil. Um, matter of fact, it is the most expensive oil um, that, Do that doTERRA has. So it's oftentimes the oil that we don't get right away, right? But it's very, very good for you, for the nervous system. Very good for, uh, for folks that deal with depression. Um, folks that, you know, that are having a, a hard time maybe balancing their hormones. So this is just a, it's just a wonderful oil just to, to have in your medicine cabinet, just to kind of supplement things. But anyway, this is the kit that I purchased initially when I got started with essential oils. Um, it cost $160. And what it does is it gives you membership into doTERRA. For, so for $160, you not only get this whole kit, these 10 oils plus this diffuser, you also get your, um, uh, your membership in doTERRA. So then everything is always wholesale, okay? $160. Or you can triple the, uh, the quantity, not, not the, the, these are five ml bottles, these are 15 ml bottles. Um, so it's three times the amount of oils, but it is not three times the price, okay? Um, it's actually less than $100 more, but you're getting three times the oils. The diffuser is larger, so it's got a larger run time. That's actually the diffuser that's running behind me right now, um, and I love it. There is also the healthy habit. Um, this is for those like myself who use a lot of internal products, such, the, such as the LLVs. What is the LLVs? It's a lifelong vitality 
uh, it's, a, it's a complex. It is a three-part kit, and I absolutely love them. This is really my mainstay with, um, you know, the oils um, complement this. It also gives you the deep blue rub, which is unbelievably amazing. You have, you, your back is hurting, uh, your any muscle, your knees, anything hurting, you rub this on and it works amazing. If anybody uses that BioFreeze or any of the other um, uh, muscle rubs that they have out there, uh, Bengay, Icy Hot, whatever they might be, I invite you to try Deep Blue. And if you don't want to purchase it, let me know and I will send you a sample. I literally, I did, I did the, you know, the, the comparison. I had broken my shoulder. This was a couple of years ago. Doing something really dumb, like feeding a dog. Yeah, it was kind of dumb. Um, I accidentally fell and I fell right on my shoulder and I heard a big pop. And I laid there on the floor assessing the damage while the little puppy was licking my face thinking that I was on the floor because I wanted to play with him. Um, I got up and I said, I did something wrong. And I immediately went to the ER and yes, I broke my shoulder. And as I was healing, I started going to physical therapy and they had these free uh, uh, samples of Icy Hot. And so I took them home. I said, I wanna do a little comparison. I used the Icy Hot and then I used the Deep Blue and there was no comparison as to what worked better. The Deep Blue worked better hands down for pain, for inflammation, to help the healing. This Deep Blue is a wonderful product. Alrighty, we are moving on to the kids collection. I love this collection. I bought it for my granddaughter. Um, it's just so cute. They can actually clip these onto their backpack or whatever they're toting around. <clears throat> and um, these are all of um, some very important oils, but in kids strength so that you can actually put this in the hands of, of your child and you don't have to worry about any kind of, you know, um, uh, you know, interactions or adverse reactions toward it because it is um, heavily diluted. And then this is the last slide. I just wanted to make sure I got this in there. Why? Because in the back, the fiber of the greens and the protein, I have been the smoothie making grandma, the smoothie making mom. I have been giving this to all of my kids and some of my kids absolutely love it um, and are using the fiber, the greens and the protein. Last night we had game night at my um, uh, two of my, my daughter's house and my grandkids and I made the, uh, the protein shakes and they tasted wonderful. We, we tried the chocolate. I've also tried the vanilla. The greens, if you wanna do the greens, very good to use um, like in maybe like cranberry juice or maybe cran grape juice. Um, you know, maybe one without the sugar, obviously, um, it tasted great. So I got another one of my daughter, we, we made the smoothies uh, uh, with her a couple nights ago at her house. And then the fiber, I have been using this fiber every day and love it. It's got a beautiful lemony taste. I've been putting it in my oatmeal and it, it's got just a, a wonderful taste to it. So I invite any of you guys to, uh, to try them. They are on sale 10% off through to the end of the month. So that is the end of my slideshow. I know I went just a little bit too long and I want to apologize. Um, I'm glad that everybody stuck with me. Um, and I'm going to open it up for any, first of all, I want to invite Anybody who has any comments, those of you who are using any of these products or any questions you might have, if you want to share just a little bit, you can raise your hand or you could just unmute yourself. Um, uh, preferably the hand would be the best, but if I see that you're unmuted, I will know that you have something to share. Let me see who just, somebody just unmuted themselves. There's so many people on here. Uh, Francis, um, go right ahead and unmute yourself and you can share away. Good. Well, it's not morning anymore. <laughs> Good afternoon, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, I just wanted to share a little bit, you know, about the digestion since that is like one of my number one oils um, and just how much of a resource it's been for me for the last four years. Um, you know, I've shared before just 
I can't go without this oil. I cannot be without this oil. This past week has been a little bit of a testimony for this oil. Um, I overdid it on tomato products uh, this past week. I can eat raw tomatoes with no problems. And I eat a lot of raw foods. I, you know, I explained about my diet. It's a 80, 20 diet. I eat a lot of clean, usually clean, um, you know, a lot of vegetables and stuff like that. Salads, you know, I can eat a whole, the serving bowl of salad is usually my bowl of salad. It's not <laughs> what I give to others. But anyways, I have to be careful when I eat cooked or processed tomatoes in the form of like ketchup, spaghetti sauce, um, uh, barbecue sauce, or anything like that. Well, this week, I think like four days in a row, I ate stuff with cooked tomatoes in it. And my digestive system is just, uh, it's for lack of a better word, it's just really messed up really bad from, you know, previous Ill illness that I had in the treatment, um, radiation treatment. It's really scarred. So I have to be super careful. And I don't know why I just wasn't thinking, you know, but my stomach, my innards is just really inflamed right now because I overdid it. And so at work, you know, I was walking around smelling like digestion because I have a little glass, um, a little glass that I keep in my drawer. And that's what I was putting in warm water and drinking. And um, just, you know, trying to just kind of get it to kind of subside and ease up because it, it's, it's like heartburn to the 10th degree is what I've been dealing with all day long for four days. So that helped. But also I wanted to share something else that I also put with the digestion, you know, not in the digestion water, but also along with the digestion, I would also do this. And that was lemon and frankincense. Now, I'm not a big lemon water drinker. That's, you know, I'm not a big lemon water drinker. I'll be upfront about that. Um, but I started, you know, trying to see what other oils could help because I mean, if, to go four days feeling like this, you know, if you've been pregnant and you've had heartburn during your pregnancy, imagine that, but all day long for four days. So I did the lemon with the frankincense in the water and that also helped so much. So I carry a kit with me, you know, the Healthy Star Kit. I have an entire kit that I carry with me in my work bag and also my Bible bag that I bring to church. Now, those are the two oils or the three oils that I'm probably gonna be utilizing a lot when my digestive issues start up. I will still never be without digestion. I mean, I have a bottle in my purse. You know, I carry it in my purse. I have it in that kit in my, in my Bible bag or my work bag. I have it at home. I have one in my kitchen. I have a little oil, um, I guess it's an oil stand, you know, it has a little inserts to put the oil in. I have one right there. It's like right by my sink. So it's like easy for me to grab a glass right there, put some in, in some water and, you know, keep going. I just, I can't talk enough about how much relief this, this oil has been to me, how much it helps. But then to hear some of the other things that you can use it for also, because Barbara has mentioned in her other classes, other things that you can use the digestion for. And trying to, you know, when I, when I tell, you know, my coworkers or other people about it, it's like this bottle of oil, there's so many uses for it. But when you have digestive issues, it is the bomb. It is the king. It is, you know, I can't say enough about it. It is a great great oil great oil yes 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 okay well thank you thank you so much Francis. now um on this uh on this what what i've got here in front of me this is the medicine cabinet <laughs> obviously right <laughs> this is a medicine cabinet and look at all of these you know i mean you've got all kinds of stuff going on here right and down in the bottom is some of the things that uh you know, Francis was talking about the Imodium and the Tums and the Pepto-Bismol and, you know, there's, there's just so much stuff in here, Tylenol and, uh, you know, lactate and Theraflu and all kinds of stuff, Bengay, Advil, right? And then you're, you just move it over and you look at this beautiful medicine cabinet. Now, this is, what this is here is all the, um, what's on this side as well as what's on that side. This is something that 
everybody who's on this call is going to get, it's the, uh, the medicine cabinet makeover. Okay, make over your medicine cabinet. So um, if, if I don't have your address, make sure whoever invited you to this class gets me your address so I can mail one of these out. I will get them all in the mail by Monday. Um, so that way everybody's got, you know, all of this information. Um, the, the back has got, you know, just all kinds of, uh, you know, testimonials and, um, you know, just, uh, just, just basically how to empower ourselves with natural solutions, right? As opposed to, you know, all of this, you know, pharmaceutical type stuff that, you know, oftentimes can, you know, can do some damage uh, along with, you know, some of the good that it can do, um, you know, because we do, we, we take antibiotics and medications because we do want to do good things. But this particular class, we're focused on natural solutions. So I want to send this out to everybody. So make sure I have your address in some way, shape, or form so that I could get that, that pamphlet out that's going to go out to everybody. Um, what I want to know is, are there any questions um, or any comments that anybody wants to make, um, you know, regarding uh, this issue or even, uh, you know, something else um, that you might have concerns about? You can raise your hand. You can take yourself off of, um, off of mute and you can just uh, talk away. And then we are going to close up here. Sharon, go right ahead. Just real quickly, I just wanted to add um, on that the first kit that you mentioned uh, with the the five millimeter bottles was that the Healthy Start kit. Uh, so yes. healthy start? Okay, yeah. Okay, when you enrolled and I enrolled a few years back, there was no diffuser. So they have add they have since added the diffuser. We just got those little tiny bottles of oils for the. 150 or one, one at one, whatever it was. So that's a good deal to get that diffuser with it. Yes. And, and the, the thing about that diffuser too, Shannon, that, that I really like, um, and I, you know, I've been telling people this, you know, often because I've, I've tried, um, you know, not only the, the doTERRA diffusers, but then I've also, um, you know, cause I've, I'm cheap, you know, like everybody else, right? We want to um, so I, you know, I went to Walmart, got some from Amazon and for one diffuser that I have sitting in my bedroom. So I always use my doTERRA diffuser in my bedroom. And then I've got other diffusers, I've cut several diffusers throughout the house and, you know, from places. Um, I'm finding that these doTERRA diffusers remain while the other ones have to be replaced, right? So what do I mean by that? The quality, right? And so, you know, we, we always say, you know, what, what was the old saying back in the day, you know, it was made in China, you know, and so it's, you know, you get it, you use it a couple of times and what happens, it breaks or whatever, you know. I literally have had that problem with diffusers um, where, you know, you get a diffuser, you might use it for a couple months and then all of a sudden it stops working, right? You have no idea why, it just stops working. So what do you got to do? You got to go out and buy another diffuser. Well, now you've just spent two times the amount of what you could purchase one diffuser from doTERRA that will last for years. I've had diffusers from doTERRA that literally last for years. I literally, I had a diffuser that I was not, not that I was like wanting it to break, but I was secretly hoping it was going to break because I wanted to put another diffuser there. You know, I just wanted something new, right? And so it wouldn't stop working. So finally I said, well, okay, if, if I want something new, I just got to take this old one out and maybe give it to somebody that maybe doesn't have a diffuser that would appreciate it. So I brought it over to my neighbors who, um, you know, really wanted to, you know, to learn. And so it was like, they're enjoying it and they're, they're loving it. And so I was like, okay, well, how many years are they going to be able to enjoy it? It's just kind of neat to me how that, you know, one diffuser lasts for so long. Why? Because it was made with quality, right? It was made carefully. It wasn't just, you know, like these diffusers you can get from Amazon or, you know, or Walmart. So anyway, that whole, you know, I know I go into these big long monologues, you know, when you get me started with something, but anyway, my diffuser uh, situation anyway. Um, Chanel, you have a question. You can go ahead and take yourself off of mute and fire away. Okay, thank you. Um, 
thank you for this class also. It was very informational. I really enjoyed it, by the way. Um, but I wanted to ask about um, blood circulation. What is an oil or a couple of oils that is good for um, blood circulation? Okay. Uh, Zena, you uh, are more than welcome to go ahead and address that if you would like. Sure, Barbara. Yes, um, Chanel, um, a couple of them that I do know um, is the Siberian fir and also the cypress. Um, but I think just here in Barbara's class, pepper might, might be good too, maybe. I think it goes for varicose veins as well. Yes, yes. And you know what else, Zena? Um, as, as I was reading, remember I told, I was just mentioning earlier in the class that helichrysum is one of my new favorites. Well, so what, what I did was I went, I, I went into my handy dandy, uh, my little handy, which by the way, everybody should have one of those, one of these. Okay. And if you don't, if you don't have a, a book, I would like to send you one. So Chanel, I can send you this. This, what this is, is this is like a small version of this. Oops, sorry, backwards. So this is a small version of this big book, okay? So this big book, one of the things that I did, um, Zena, was I looked up helichrysum. I actually still have my bookmark in helichrysum. And because I, you know, I've, I've been using helichrysum on my face and I was like, well, let me just take a quick peek because it talks about it's good for psoriasis. Um, which I was like, what, really? I, I mean, I, would, I only thought, you know, tea tree, metaleuca was good for that. But it's also good. It's good for scars, wounds, nosebleeds. Um, and then, Zena, I got down and it said varicose veins. Oh. I was like, what? I said, okay, Cyprus and helichrysum. And now you're telling me Siberian fur as well? Um, so that's great. But then also, when I was uh, uh, talking about lemon, and peppermint, both of those also said that they're good for varicose veins. So here you have these, this, the, now you have a handful of oils, uh, Chanel, that are good for circulation, right? Because var varicosities is a circulation issue, right? And so as we introduce oils that are good for circulation, it's not, it's not just going to, you know, address one you know, it's going to address a wide range of, of issues, right? And um, so Chanel, I'm going to send this to you. Um, I think uh, Sharon will probably, because I don't, I might have your address, but Sharon, Sharon will make sure she gets it from you. I think Sharon invited you, right, Chanel? So we'll make sure that we, we get, you know, some information out to you. And that goes for anybody else on this call that is, that is new. I know I see a, a couple of faces and names on here that I don't necessarily um, uh, I'm not familiar with. Um, I know Maesa, my daughter-in-law, she just, she just came on. Um, and Maesa, I would like to send you some stuff as well. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so we can definitely send out some information. And so Chanel, do you have any other questions before I go to the, the next person that has their hand up? Um, well, with the circulation that, um, it was more mainly for my, a question for one of my babies. So that will help with um, obviously children as well. We just have to dilute, I guess, the, the amount of drops, correct? Yes, and maybe what we can do, Chanel, it might be a good idea to just find out exactly what's, you know, because we, if, if it's for a baby, we wanna be very, very careful what we put on, you know, the, the babies, you know, just because of how, how teeny tiny they are. Um, so maybe we can talk to you about that privately about, you know, maybe what the specific issue might be. Um, uh, I was I was also going to show you uh, Chanel that in here um, in this little book here it, it actually it talks a lot about you know like it talks about uh, you know uh, it's got blood pressure and blood clots so all kinds of circulation things that you know this particular book is actually, it gives a lot of, for such a small little book, it gives a lot of information, right? So make sure that, you know, you, you've got some information in your hands, but this, Chanel, is the book. Um, and this is an older version. Um, I know somebody was on here last week. Who was it that showed the newer so version? So we've got, this is the one that I have. Yes. 
So Sharon's got them more updated in her hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and we I also think, we also have the one with the um, with uh, this is the larger the larger one. This is the smaller one. Yes, yes, you yes. Know, Donna, what so, you got there? Okay, Donna's holding that. Donna's, up this well. is the same one. So if yes. anyone signs up today, whoever doesn't have a kit, we can get this book for free. So whoever needs to sign up, just let us know. Okay. All right. Now I've got a question. Or oh, Chanel, are you are you done with that question? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, sure, sure. I see a, a Revolution Four Plus phone. I can't. I can't. I don't. I'm not sure who, because I can't see you very well. I'm Patricia's daughter. Um, I had a question about. Um, well, I had a couple questions. I have a son who is hyperactive, and he has um, sensitive skin, and I think one of his issues as to why he's so hyperactive. Is the fact that he deals with his skin condition very um it's awful. So okay, um, hang on one second. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I know I'm having a very difficult time hearing you, and I'm sure everybody else is probably having a difficult time. Um, I was saying the fact that I have a six-year-old. He um. Okay. I have a six year old with a skin condition, eczema, and he has a hard time just sitting still because he's itching so much. And instead of me using the cream, the, um, the stair, the steroid from the doctor, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not really helping. And then, um, he's hyperactive. So I need, like, I wonder if the, um, the kid, the kid kit would be good for him. Um, you know, I I would I would definitely say that the child's kit would be good. But what I, what I'm thinking though is that for for you, rather than spending your money on the kids kit, why don't you why don't you get that ten oil kit? And then what you can do is you can target the problem and then add if you want to add the kids kit a little bit later. Because here, here's why I'm saying that, is that you can actually address, you say he's six? Yes. Okay, so we're not talking about a little baby here. So you can actually address a lot of those skin issues with what's going on, or I'm sorry, with what you get in that, that uh, healthy start kit. Now, as far as the hyperactivity, now that's, now we're talking about neurological things, right? So we can also like, we can introduce oils such as Copaiba um, and Maesa, my daughter-in-law Maesa is on this, phone, on this call. If Maesa, if you wanna say anything about Copaiba, I'm, I'm inviting you right now to, to speak on Copaiba because she, she knows a lot about that oil. Copaiba, and Maesa, if you do wanna share some, you could just take yourself off of mute and that'll let me know that you wanna speak. Um, but copaiba is very, very good for any type of a neurological issue. As a matter of fact, uh, Maesa told me that in her country, when babies are born, they they like they they anoint, I don't want to say anoint, but th they basically they do that. They they just rub them down with that copaiba. Um, okay. Now the reasons why I don't know, but I but I know one thing: copaiba is an ex an unbelievable oil. For any kind of a neurological issue. But we also have other oils such as frankincense, which is in that 10 oil kit, um, okay. are very, very good for calming. Um, lavender is very good for calming. So lavender would not only take care of the, um, the eczema, but it would also help to take care of the, uh, the neurological okay. issues as well. Does anybody have anything that they want to say on that? I do. Barbara, I, this is Donna. Um, and I wanted to say with her, because I have a five-year-old grandson who has eczema and he's had it his whole life. So we've gone through the, the steroids and the topical creams and, you know, all of that. And he still breaks out, um, especially seasonal. He has allergies as well. So my daughter got the, um, the first kit, um, the essentials kit, healthy kit. And, um, she combines the um, the uh, melaleuca or tea tree, lavender, and a little bit of uh, um, 
of the um, frankincense and she mixes that together and she rubs that on him and he loves to play in water and then water is not good for anybody that has eczema. If you know, it continues to dry out your skin. And, and uh, so now when he wants to help wash dishes, we make him put on a pair of gloves because in right on the inside of his hands right here, he has a little dry spot and it just constantly itching. So she put some melaleuca and, um, and lavender on it. And within a couple of hours, we, I, saw, I saw the difference in it clearing up. And then she put some on again at night when he went to bed and the next morning it was completely gone. So it is, so the, the, the tea tree or melaleuca and, um, you know, and then, you, and whatever else you want to add to it, but she uses lavender and it's really, really good. And it has helped him, uh, especially in his face. You know, you don't want to put steroids on a face so much, you know, that it might um, irritate. Uh, it's supposed to clear it up. But sometimes I just think some of those things that the doctors give is just too strong. For, for little bitty, you know, for little kids. And, um, but she has been using that. And so now I'm just like, okay, I got to buy some more, but it, it really helps. It really helps. It's really good for uh, eczema. And well, Donna, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so anyway, did, did that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Barbara. Wonderful, wonderful. Did you so your mom got you to come to the class, huh? Yeah, well, I was talking to her. I was having a hard time. I've been having a hard time with some of my issues, and I've had trouble with my son, just not it's just been hard. And so I was telling my mom, I was like, Mama, I don't know what else to do. I just don't know. And she gave me some calmer and tamer. And we've been I've been using that calmer for my little baby. I have a one-year-old. And I've been using it for both of them, like when I need the rest. And I'm like, oh, I can't go to sleep until y'all go to sleep. So <laughs> I used the calmer to put them to sleep and it works and it works. I say, I'm going to have to get some of this deterioral oil, but I need to, you know, find out more about it as far as my six-year-old goes. And so. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, the, you, you know, one of the, one of the beautiful things that I like about the doTERRA is the way that they, you know, the, the care that they take, um, you know, they, I mean, you're, one of the things that, that I feel very good about or knowing about is that what you're putting in your body is very safe. It's very pure. It has, it hasn't been adulterated with anything. When you go to, um, when you go to the, the grocery stores or whatever, and, uh, you know, you, maybe you might, uh, you know, maybe you might pick up a, you know, an essential oil from the, the, you know, the health food section or whatever. Um, you look at the back and you see that it's got something else in there, sometimes more than one other thing in there. And that's the reason why they tell you don't take it internally. And so it's like, you know what, I'm just, I'm, I'm just not so sure about all of that. You know, I want to, I want to be able to get the, the benefit. I mean, you tell me that you pick up a bottle of lemon oil, right? And, and it's going to tell you, you can't take that internally, but yet you can eat a lemon, right? From, you know, from the whole thing, if you want, you know? Um, so it's just, it's, it's very odd to me why, you know, they could actually, you know, market and sell those products. Well, the reason that they're, they might be cheaper, like maybe doTERRA's lemon oil is like, let's say about 12 bucks, right? Well, let's say you go to the grocery store and in their natural food section, you might be able to get it for like six bucks, right? Okay, so you're getting it cheaper, but look at what you cannot even use it for, right? It does not give you the same benefits as this doTERRA lemon oil that, you know, I mean, it, it lasts for a long time anyway. So that's why I say, if we could just get these oils into our medicine cabinets, we could see it's like, wow, this bottle of oregano that I bought last year, it's still half full. Why? Because when I, when I need it, I only need one to three drops, right? So you just, you don't need very much. Um, so that's one of the things that I like about the oils. So anyway, okay. Are there any other questions, any other comments? I know we're, you know, we're definitely past our time. Um, and, you know, I get to, you know, keep people, um, I mean, you, you know, you know that you're welcome to leave anytime. Um, I got a quick question, Barbara. Saying something, Amber, go right ahead. Yeah, I just want to know, do you know, um, 
when they're gonna um have the um the unguard the toothpaste the unguard toothpaste um back and every time i go on there it's, it keeps saying coming soon but um you, you know you mean the new one the new one should have, should have actually Is it, um okay so you're talking about the new one right the the uh, yeah okay okay yeah you know i i really don't know i know one thing the on guard products ever since covid hit on guard has been just selling like crazy every every aspect of on guard um, mm. and that's why you know what i do is when it is in stock mm -hmm. a lot of times they'll only let you buy one so like the mm -hmm. laundry detergent which i absolutely i have to have that laundry detergent so i make sure that you know <laughs> i'm ordering it when i still have a full bottle you know basically every time i place an order put one on guard product in there because it's, it's just selling like hotcakes and doTERRA just cannot keep up with the demand um, hmm. products. So definitely I'm, I'm very sorry, you know, that, that you can't find it. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, put a request into uh, um, to Lou and, and ask him when it might be back, you know. Um, another, yeah. another product too, just so everybody knows, um, if you do get opportunity to get it and you want it, um, is the doTERRA greens um, on the, uh, the, the, the drink mixes I was just showing everybody. Um, those greens are, they're, it's selling like hotcakes um, because of how good it is. We talked about the, the doTERRA greens as well as the other nutritional um, uh, uh, packages uh, last week. So, um, but anyway, that is another item that's, it's already sold out because my daughter wanted it. And I'm like, I had to tell her, I'm sorry, you can't get it right now. Why? Because it, brand new and everybody is buying it um so anyway yeah it's it's one of those things sorry about that amber okay is there anything else um i see a hand up i'm not sure if did you have another question you're on you're on mute you got to take yourself off of mute oh no question okay no i don't okay okay no problem well make sure Make sure um, you have your mom send me your address, and I will send you out the uh, the medicine cabinet makeover. Are you are you with your mom? You want me to just send this to your mom's address? Okay. Tap, make sure your mom sends me your address, and I'll I'll send it out to you. I will. I will. Okay. And and I also give a, anybody permission to text me personally. Um, just get the get my my cell number from your mom. Uh, okay. You can text me personally with any questions or any, if, if anybody needs, I know I talked about the deep blue. If anybody wants a sample of that deep blue rub, um, it's a wonderful, well, just make sure you get, you get that request to me that you want it. Um, okay. Texting me is, is always the best way to get it to me. Text it to me, make sure I have your, your address and I will get you out uh, the samples. So, okay. all right. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. Well, we are going to have um, this uh, another class next week. Um, it's going to be a, a different topic. Um, I don't yet know what the topic is going to be. So if anybody has anything that, that you want to talk about, something that you want to hear about, just let me know. Send me a text. Um, but, you know, if, if you can tell me as quickly as possible, so that way, as I start to, you know, to research and to plan for next Saturday, um, I have that on my mind. So anyway, if that's all, we are, we're going to end this class. I'm going to make sure everybody gets one of these uh, that's on this class. Um, so anyway, it was nice seeing everybody and- It was great. Thank, thank you. you. All righty. Okay. Bye, bye Barbara. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, bye Barbara. Bye-bye. Okay. I'll see you guys all next Saturday. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>